tell us what is Lowly Coatings all about? Lowly Coatings came about, I was never happy on anything I ever did from the Easy Riser on with uh, professional coatings and paint that was done on fabric especially. So my passion for my own use became working with different chemical companies to come up with my own uh, formulas, not as a chemist, but what worked to make flexible coatings. Later on, we learned an awful lot in Ritz Propeller Company about what it takes to sand fast and finish a smooth propeller. And later, we got into the airplanes, the 5151 Mustang, and it was naturally fabric covered, which was right down my alley for flexible coating. But we also had metal and composite, and I wanted to use the same paint on those instead of using one for fabric and one for metal that most of the covering companies did. So in 1988, I came out with the, the first clear coated airplane that I know ever hit a show. Since 1988, I've been working with my flexible chemical formula, uh, primer, colors and clears, all are the same chemical family. I don't even have to clean the gun out to paint primer, color, and clear. All catalyzed, no base coat, clear coat. And as flexible as the chemists will give it to us in, the, in a can. You're in a competitive industry. There are a number of names that have been in the uh, coatings industry for quite some time. How do you distinguish yourself at this point? The big thing with ours is we've been around a long time. There's a lot of good good coatings out there. I don't use waterborne because we want our customers to be able to have it go fast even in, when there's snow outside. My last RV we painted in our production shop we had snowflakes coming through the roof of the World War II hangar when I painted a lot of the small parts. So there's no heated paint booths used with ours but we're for amateurs, amateur coating and kit builders. I've never had a customer that ever complained about our paint. I've got lifetime body shop guys and aviation paint guys say it's the best paint they ever shot. That's very humbling, but it was my own passion, my own German mix, but I can paint in a tent in a rainstorm. Um, I'm a home builder. Uh, most people don't have a professional shop, so we painted a three-quarter million dollar Lance Air in a conduit booth made out of plastic over the top of it. We're everything I've done set up for amateurs but we got pro shops using it. I've never had my own paint booth even though we've done factory kit airplanes. It's always been done in pieces in a dusty wooden prop spray booth. So. Mike thanks for joining us in Airborne and Aero TV. We look forward to seeing what you do over the next few years. Well, thank you Jim. It's wonderful getting back in the game again after being out of it for probably five six years with Sandy passing and it's nice to be back and I think God wants me in aviation until I'm gone. So.